In this video, I will show you how you too can make the optional strategy your monthly cash flow machine, even during a bad month like last month when the SP was down over 8%. I'll do that by showing you exactly how much cash flow we pocketed by trading options in June. I'll also share with you multiple trades that we did that will help you see two very powerful techniques that you can use to drastically improve the odds of winning your option trades. I'll then show you a trick that you can use like we did last month while the market was crashing to help you reposition your portfolio so you can turn losing positions back into winners. Here you see every option trade we did last month in June. The red boxes are the trades we're going to talk about in this video. If you've been watching this monthly cash flow video series over the past several years, you're going to notice that there's a lot more red boxes this month than usual. I won't go into detail about every single one of those trades, but those red boxes are vitally important if you want to be a long-term successful option trader. And I encourage you to stay tuned in until the very end because that's where I'll show you exactly how much net cash flow we put into our pocket as well as the return that we received last month. First, in the over 20 years I've been trading stocks and options, I've come to realize that trading options, if done properly, well, it's almost unfair. But unfair in a good way because it's to our advantage. Have you ever been in a situation in your life in which things just worked out for you? You almost couldn't believe how well they turned out. It was almost like a miracle happened for you. The thing about ops trading is you can make that happen for you even when things are going bad in the overall market. And here's what I mean by that. Let's focus on these three trades in the red boxes. They are in Corning, ticker symbol GLW, Home Depot, ticker symbol HD, and Honeywell, ticker symbol HON. Notice where the purple arrows are. That in all three positions, we rolled our cash secure put option strike prices down as we were rolling them out. In the top one, Corning, we had to go out two months but were able to roll it down by $2 or just over 6%. With Home Depot, we only had to go out one month but were able to roll it down by $10 per share or right at 3.6%. And With Honeywell, we were able to roll it down by $5 while only going out one month and that improved our position by 2.7%. In all, we did something very similar with 12 of our positions last month. No, we weren't able to pocket a lot of cash on those positions, but we were able to pocket some cash on every single one of them. For example, with the top one here, Corning, we only pocketed $3. But remember, we rolled that position down by 6%. And with Home Depot, we ended up walking with $162 in our pocket. And with Honeywell, we walked with $105 in our pocket. And you know what? I was very happy with that. Anytime you have positions that are going against you, I found that it's generally best to focus on improving your position over generating as much cash flow as possible. As a result, the 12 positions that we rolled down as we rolled them out last month, we didn't pocket as much cash, but we improved the location of our cash secure put options tremendously, and this set us up to win long term. I have found that having a longer term mindset comes in handy for stock and options traders like us. There's a saying you've most likely heard that honestly I've never really liked, but the saying goes, there's no free lunch in the markets. Well, I disagree with that, and here you see why. We improved our position and got paid. I don't know about you, but I kind of count that as a free lunch. So I showed you what we did last month to massively improve our positions, but what if you have a position that goes bad and really doesn't look like there's any hope for it rebounding anytime soon? What if you no longer like the position and you want to get out of it altogether? Is there something that you can do to get out of the position that's gone wrong and still set yourself up to win long term while still pocketing some cash? And the answer is absolutely. On the left you see the daily and on the right the weekly chart of AO Smith Corporation, ticker symbol AOS. This company is well known for their water heater products among other high demand products. It's a company that I really like. However, I don't like what's been happening with the stock price over the past couple months. We sold a cash secure put option in it back in March. It looked like it was at a technical location where it would likely find support. However, that didn't happen. As a result, ever since, as you can see in the left chart at the white arrow, it's been in a steady downtrend. Notice in the white box that over the past several weeks, there still doesn't seem to be any relief in sight. Looking over at the right chart, the weekly chart, notice that for about a month and a half, it was finding nice support right at the red 200 exponential moving average. However, three weeks ago, it broke through that moving average, thus making a lower leg and now a new lower low in this weekly chart. Down the yellow box, notice that the sellers appear to be in control over the past several months. Because of that, even though I still like the company, I no longer like this position. So I wanted to get out of this position altogether. The problem is that on June 15th, when I decided that enough was enough, this cash put option was a little over $4 in the money. 
As a result, as you can see here, it cost us $4.50 to buy this put option back to close it out. However, just before that, we had found several new positions that we liked better from a technical standpoint. So we had sold a cash secured put option and MasterCard, ticker symbol MA, and Unilever, ticker symbol UL, and pocketed more than enough cash to make it for the $450 that it cost us to close out AOS. Yes, the MasterCard cash secure put option strike price was higher, even though Unilever's was lower. But by freeing up that capital with the AOS position, we are able to pocket some nice cash and get out of a position that I no longer liked. Here you see the past three months of all three companies on the same chart. AOS is the black and white candlesticks, MasterCard is the gold line, and Unilever is the green line. Notice that of the three, AOS has definitely performed the worst over the past couple months. In addition to that, as you can see here on June 15th, when we did this trade, MasterCard was trading for around $326 per share. So that $305 cash secure put option we sold was over $20 or over 6% out of the money. Overall, we put ourselves in a better position to win long term because both MasterCard and Unilever were in a technical stronger spot than AOS was. If you find yourself in a cash secure put position that's gone against you, it doesn't look like it's going to turn your way anytime soon. If you can't use a technique like what I've described at the beginning of this video of rolling a put up strike price down when you roll it out, then you might consider just closing the position out and putting that capital to work in a brand new position in a position that's technically in a better spot for you. Here we're able to swap out the AOS position that was showing tremendous weakness on every time frame with two positions that were showing strength. It also gives us more room to be wrong and still win over the next 30 days. By the way, if you want to be a more profitable stock and option trader, please do yourself a favor and hit the subscribe button and bell notification. If you're finding benefit in this video, please go ahead and hit the like button as well. The final trade tip I want to share with you before I show you how much cash we pocketed last month from selling options shows how important it is to be disciplined and patient as an option trader. Here you see the daily chart of Cisco ticker symbol SYY. At the left part of that white arrow, the base of the arrow, that's when we closed out a trade in Cisco. Now this is a company that I feel comfortable trading in if the technicals are lined up in our favor. So ever since February, I've been looking for an opportunity to do a new trade in Cisco. But as you can see, we've been waiting for four months to do that new trade in it. You do see that on several instances where Cisco had big declines down to the lower part of the chart, just above the upward sloping white trend line. However, I just didn't feel comfortable doing a trade in it because first, notice down the volume section in the white box, at the first instance in early March, when Cisco had a very big decline, the sellers were very strong and very much in control. Cisco did bounce up and reach the upper part of the channel, but I just didn't feel comfortable with that trade back in early March. Again, fast forward to May, and where you see the purple box, again you see another big decline by Cisco, but again, notice the strength of all the red volume bars. It was dominated by sellers except for the one very high green bar, and immediately thereafter, Cisco dropped down to the lower part of the channel. Now notice where the point of the white arrow is a couple weeks ago. Again, we find Cisco back at the bottom part of this channel. However, notice down the volume section that it has changed. Notice in the yellow box that it appears the buyers are in control of Cisco. Here you see the live trade alert I sent out to my patrons when I did this trade on June 22nd, which was 12 days ago. Now you see that as of this past Friday, which is three days ago, when the market closed, this Cisco option was only trading for around 20 cents per share. So we're definitely looking to close this position out early because it's almost at its max profit and we still have over a week and a half before this option expires. But the tip that I want to share with you with this trade before I show you how much cash we pocket last month is that sometimes you just have to be patient and wait for trades to line up in your favor. By using technical analysis and being disciplined and patient, waiting for good entry locations, you'll be able to drastically improve your odds of winning your option trades, thus improving the amount of cash you put in your pocket and your overall return. Now let me show you exactly how much cash we pocketed last month by selling options and collecting some dividends. At the bottom of the sheet in the blue box, see that as a result of selling options, we put a net of $21,176 cash into our pocket. However, I want to point out to you that back on the first page of this month's statement, we had a cash secure put option at Disney that was assigned to us in the purple box for $150. The next day, we sold those shares and switched it back into a cash secure put option while also rolling that put option strike price down by $5. But as a result of that put option being assigned to us, we ended up selling the stock for a loss of $5,569. So if you back that out of the net, $21,176 we received in the option premium, we pocketed $15,607. In the orange box, you see that trading commission cost us just over $131. In the green box, you see that we received $1,692 in dividends from the seven covered call positions that we were in. 
and the purple box see that data fees cost us $32.75. The bottom in the black box so we were paid just over $80 in interest for the cash we have sitting in our account. So in all, we put a net of $17,214.95 cash into our pocket in this main ops training account. If you analyze that return, based on the approximately $1.1 million that we have at risk, it equates to right at a 19% annualized non-leveraged return on capital. Curious about what the return was based on the margin requirement of $132,371? It equates a 158% annualized return on margin. If you'd like to get an alert as soon as we trade similar to the ones I showed in this video, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. This month, we pocketed almost $1,700 in dividends. That was absolutely the easiest money that I made last month. If you'd like to see how you too can get paid without having to do any work, just like we did last month, check out the video at the link above in the description below entitled, Get Paid Without Working. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.